everyone so lately god has been really working with me on consistency and it's gotten to a point where i'm just so convicted where i just need to make a change a real and true change because i don't want any more years to go by where i'm not consistent at something your problem is you start something you stop it you start something you stop it you feel good you do it you don't feel good you quit Stop doing stuff in January that you know you're not going to do in March. I'm just saying whatever you do, be on time and be consistent. I got so convicted because I literally couldn't think of one thing that I was actually con consistent at and that I actually followed through with. Besides like maybe college, I followed through until graduation and I graduated. Um, but really anything else i can't think of a time where i'm actually consistent even with medicine like i just came out of the doctor i just i was in the hospital last friday or last i think it was saturday or sunday i am extremely iron deficient and i couldn't even be consistent with taking iron pills and i got so i got so convicted because consistency a brother of consistency or lack of consistency is laziness. And I know that when I put my head to the plow, when I put my hands to the plow, I am, I'm a hard worker. You know, my work ethic is really there. But, you know, I look at things like my small business, I look at, and I'm just being real right now, like, don't judge me. But look at things like my small business, even my YouTube, my book that I'm about to publish. It's all these things that I was never fully consistent in. And even with my health and working out, I think the farthest I've gone with working out is about a month. And I stopped. And I don't know why. And I'm so, I'm so upset. I'm so upset. And lately God is just telling me, you know, lately I've been feeling enough is enough, Amanda. We have to get this under control. And I know there has to be some other people out there going through this. So I want to talk about consistency and laziness. And what is God view? What is God's view on consistency? And the first thing when, when I was in prayer, right, writing notes about this, Something that really struck me is that consistency shows our faith. When we are consistent, even when things aren't going right, even when thing, when we don't see a light at the end of the tunnel, but we continue to be consistent despite what we see, that shows our faith. And so I will dare to say that the inability to be consistent might be just a small reflection of where your faith is and just let that sink in and i know with myself i know that i have strong faith i know but i know that there's a lot there are things in my life that is hard for me to have faith in there's just holes holes in my life where i feel like i could grow in faith and so god also gave me revelation 3 15 through 16 and he says i know your works you are neither hot nor cold i would rather you be hot or cold because you are lukewarm i will spit you out of my mouth and i know that this has to do with you know your walk with god but as i was reading and just meditating on consistency this really stood out to me and i looked at this with a whole new perspective and that's you know, when you're not consistent, you're not hot and you're not cold. You're just, I'm going to run this race. I'm going to run as fast as I can and I'm stop. And you're not hot or cold anymore. And then you get on fire. You get on fire for God and then you stop. There's moments where you get cold and then hot and then cold. Like that's, you're not hot or cold. You're inconsistent. Really struck me. This really struck me. It really made me, you know, really made me rethink a lot of things in my life. Colossians 3, 23 through 24, whatever you do, work heartily for the Lord. So how does my inconsistency or my inability to be consistent, how does that reflect Jesus? How does that reflect a person who claims to be 
for God. You know, we're supposed to be different. We're supposed to be set apart. We're supposed to be working heartily for the Lord, but not being consistent with something, following through, that is not a good reflection of God because God followed through with everything he said he would do. With making the earth in seven days, he followed through with every promise he's ever made. With bringing down his son and dying on the cross for us, he followed through with that. Imagine if God wasn't consistent. And I brought that up before that consistency, a brother of consistency, a lack of consistency is laziness. And I think about Noah. Noah who built this ark, this huge ark, huge. Like we can't imagine how big this ark was. Like I live in a row of like townhomes or like row homes and I'm sure this ark was it's like this, the whole street. I'm sure it is. And imagine if Noah wasn't consistent. It took him over 40 years to build this thing. Imagine if he was lazy. Daniel who went on this this fast to, to prove that a, that a man that follows God that it doesn't matter what food he takes in it matters like it's the strength of God that matters imagine if he wasn't consistent with with the food with eating vegetables and beans and they wouldn't have taken him seriously and so when you walk with God and you're not consistent people stop taking you seriously not even if you are walking with God if you're just a person just out here regardless of whether you walk with God or not if you aren't consistent people don't take you seriously no more they stop they stop relying on you they they say oh well, Amanda doesn't show up or Amanda's always late and so people can't rely on you and it means more when you're a child of God because you people are look like we're supposed to be the salt of this earth people are looking to us for the truth and for light and love and when we're not consistent they can't rely on us for those things galatians 6 9 do not grow weary in doing good and like let's say you want to go grow your youtube channel and you're consistent you post a video every week and you keep doing it, you keep doing it but you barely have 50 subscribers but we have to stand on the word and we have to realize that we can't grow weary in doing good. We can't. We have to just keep being consistent. Be consistent because soon we're going to reap what we sow. We're going to reap the harvest. And so we have to remain consistent. We cannot fall into laziness. We can't fall in inconsistency. We have to be different. And I am currently working on a few things because I'm speaking to myself as I'm speaking to this video, as I'm speaking to you. Um, I, for the past month, I've been working on getting up early. I've never been an early bird ever, 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 ever. There, there are moments where I'll get up early, but then I'm like, oh, I gotta wait, God, I have to go back to sleep. And I don't, I'm not consistent with getting up early. But for the past month, I told myself I'm gonna get up. And so every day I've been getting up with the exception of this past week because I was out of work due to being sick. But every day I've been getting up early, at least by 6 a.m. every day. And I'm really trying to make it for like 4.30, really trying to push. But my tip for you, number one, is to wake up every day at the same time wake up every day at the same time and be consistent with that because that that starts your day when you start your day with consistency you're going to want to continue to fall into that you're going to want to continue to be under that regimen and I when I wake up early I want to go straight to my office and read the bible that's what I want to do and if I just at least as soon as I wake up just read the bible for at least 15 minutes then that's it I get it out the way and it's and it's not about getting it out the way, it's just about being consistent. And number two, a good tip is to get a planner. And I am the worst with planners because I'll buy all these cute planners. One time I, I honestly spent almost $100 on a planner because um, it was like the cute Kate Spade planner. But, and I never wrote in it. 
So my tip for you as I follow these tips too is to get a planner and be consistent with using the planner, write in it. Actually write your, your goals for that day, the things that you need to do. Um, because that actually helps. I'm always writing on all these other sticky notes and notebooks and stuff like that, things because I'm a very visual person, but I need to be consistent with putting it in one place. And I'm a very hands-on. It's hard for me to put in like a Google calendar or something. And, um, but yeah, tip number two, get a planner and be consistent with it. Number three, learn to manage your time. This is so important. Because a lot of us, we might work nine to fives and sometimes nine to six and we don't get home till seven or close to seven. And we feel like we may only have a few hours to ourselves. And even you may be praying for God to bring to break through with a new job or a better job or a work from home job. But what if God is just waiting for you to, to learn how to manage the little time that you have now? Because once you work that work from home job, you really need to learn how to manage your time, you know, because I worked, I went from straight working in an office to just being plopped in a work from home job. And I, at first it was hard for me to get my work done because I'm just like, I'm at home. I want to watch TV. Um, I really had to learn to manage my time. So manage your time. And with that, grow in boundaries. If you are spending a lot of time on TikTok and, and on your phone, um, you really need to grow in, in setting boundaries, cut it off at a specific time or tell yourself, I, I can only spend two hours, three hours, maybe four hours a day on social media. The phone is actually really cool. It tells you at the end of the day or at the end of the, each week, how many, how much hours, how many hours per day you average on social media or on your phone. And I got, I always get so convicted. Cause I'm like, a lot of times it says seven hours average on day, like each day on my phone. And I'm like, man, I'm at work for eight hours a day. Where do I find the time to spend seven hours a day on my phone, you know, outside of work. And so I get con con convicted because I'm like, okay, I should really have time for God. And so that brings me to my last point. Grow in a real true prayer life. This is the true key to consistency. Because when you read your word and you pray and you talk to God, you're going to grow in the fruits of the spirit. You're going to, you know, not want to do things that, that are not helpful to your spirit. And when I am really diligent with, you know, praying and being in my word, I find myself, you know, really, really, you know, being consistent and allowing myself to better lay out the day and to be better um to have better use of my time because i I, f I feel like if i spend you know an hour with god 30 minutes or sometimes 15 minutes with god in the morning then i want to make sure that the rest of my day is being used in a good way like i'm being being efficient so this is a good tip for this you know grow in a real true prayer life this is a, a tip for every single thing everything that you want to do in life this is the key to success at it you know i've seen breakthrough in my life just from praying from you know things as as much as uh paying off my college tuition but uh allowing god allowed me to have a house of my own my own home a car um just being free from depression, being free from anxiety and, and insecurity, it all comes from having a true and real relationship with God. So anyway, if you're like me and you feel like you're suffering with inconsistency and laziness, really consider all these things in this video and as I'm going to as well and, and hopefully in a month or two I'm going to come back and I'm going to tell you guys what has been helping me and I know I've been doing this these tips for maybe like consistently for over a month now so I've seen some fruits from it but I want to continue and I want to tell you guys you know the, full, the fullness of it so 
remember these scriptures and i just pray right now in the name of jesus that if there is any spirit of laziness any spirit of sluggard over anyone watching this video lord god that they are cast down in the name of jesus we rebuke and we cancel down any we cancel out any enemy that's trying to come against us and our purpose in life lord god i pray that the devil is cannot harm us anymore the devil can't hold us back that we are marked for the kingdom and we're not going to be sluggish anymore in jesus name we're going to we're going to continue to push forward we're going to do works as onto you lord god we're going to do it we're going to do it efficiently we're going to you know have boundaries we're going to grow in the fruit of the spirit in the name of jesus amen hope this helped guys